What's up everybody? This is Brian. This is kind of a, I don't even know what to call this, a video note, video blog, video diary. I'm not really sure what this is. This is what have I been doing and what will I be doing come 2021? So it is September 1st, 2020. Oh man, I have been incredibly busy. You wouldn't really know it looking at my YouTube channel. I used to try to post almost weekly and you, you'll notice I kind of just post in these blobs so you'll get like 14 15 videos all at once and then a long period in between and there's a reason for that well first off COVID-19 pandemic shelter in place is kind of a real thing and I live in this little area here called Michigan which you wouldn't know it in the United States but in this area here it is kind of the hot spot or the epicenter for COVID-19 so we've been doing this 15 day shelter in place for well months most of the year since late february um it's been challenging uh end up working a lot more hours than normal i'm fortunate enough that i can work from home uh but you tend to you know you don't really have that separation between working and not working anymore because you're always at work because you're always at home um yeah so it's just been challenging and then my neighbors are home making noise blasting stereos running lawnmowers so recording has been kind of a challenge as well so you may hear like Base speakers and lawnmowers in the background. I can actually hear them. I don't know if the microphone's picking them up. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've been working on Udemy. So if you go out to udemy.com, you'll see my courses. These numbers look super, super exciting, but they're really not. I actually give away way more than I actually sell. Um, if I sold that many, I would probably be retired. I don't know. But uh, usually I'm dumping those out in the Void Realms Facebook group. But I have been making classes like crazy. Um, just published one. Where is it? Cute five design patterns. 21 hours. That 21 hours, that was, I mean, basically since February, I've been typing away, creating lessons, testing them over and over again, practicing what I was going to say, and then actually doing the live recordings. And you rope in everyone's home, shelter in place, all that stuff. It's been a challenge. So great reviews so far. I actually don't dive into the reviews that much because it's so hard to get anything of value out of that. You'll get a five star instructor really knows what he's talking about. One star instructor is an idiot, but they don't really tell you what you did good or bad. So it's usually not constructive criticism. Love the five stars, the one stars. I wish they would just say what they want to improve. Also, I've been helping my wife. She's been shelter in place working from home as well. She is a professional licensed counselor. She's got a psychology degree and she's starting her own YouTube channel. There's one subscriber, that's me. And I've been actually doing these videos for her where she does all the content and I do the video. And this is way out of my comfort zone. I'm not good at video editing at all. So these are very rough, basically. But I'm hoping to get better and improve. Also, of course, been watching Cute Like a Hawk. Cute 6 is right around the corner. Everyone who watches my channel knows I love Cute. I'm a huge fan. So, Cute 6, everybody wants to know, when is this coming out? Well, the plan is they're doing a code freeze August 31st, a.k.a. yesterday. And then the first alpha should be mid-September, so sometime this month. And then they want to have an initial release maybe sometime in December. I say maybe because, again, we have this whole COVID-19 thing, so I'm sure it's slowing things down. Oh, man. They're hoping to have it out around Christmas or even as early as 21. Let's just hope. Fingers crossed. So I'm really curious about backwards compatibility. I'm going to be deep diving into this. And I'm sure a lot of the older Void Realm videos are going to just not work with Q6. So I may actually have to start pulling some of those videos out or putting like a disclaimer on there. And I've got so many videos, it will just be a challenge to go back and do all that. Um, and then Udemy, I want to go back and every cute course, I'm going to make a brand new cute six version course and re-record everything with the newest version of cute. That way it's now future proof. So somebody doesn't click on this and say, oh, one star, you're using the older version of cute because that's what people do. So anyways, that's going to keep me very, very, very busy. Um, special note. If you're following the Dart or Flutter tracks, I do want to update those as time permit. But right now, my focus is really on Qt and Qt Technologies. Uh, Dart and Flutter are evolving so fast, it's hard, I mean, really hard to keep up with those in a video format. I'm just kind of waiting for them to stabilize a bit. So that's kind of what have I been doing, emerging into what will I be doing. So now I've got this weird in-between limbo spot where 
it's September 1st and Qt6 probably isn't coming out for a few months. So what am I doing? Well, I'm probably going to be helping my wife with her videos and I'm looking at doing maybe some simple videos either on YouTube or Udemy or both using one or all of these. I don't know which, like Boost. Uh, if you don't know what Boost is, it's C++ libraries. It's free, open source. These things are amazing. Or Python. I've never truly mastered Python. I know it, but I'm not like a master. So might be a little bit of knowledge gap. I have to bridge there from by myself before I could really sit down and make a whole course on Python. But I'm also looking at Rust and Golang. Uh, both of these have really, really interested me, and I don't know why, but they both just seem really cool. And for my birthday, my wife just got me this 4K webcam. And I'm going to admit it, I'm really camera shy, so I don't know if I'll do videos like this. And I look nothing like this young girl, so don't expect anything like that. But uh, maybe I'll do something like that, or I'll have it so like how some people do it, where you're typing, but you have like a little video clip of your face down in the corner, and you can just see just how frustrated I get. And when I'm not doing either of those, I'm usually in video game land. Lately, I've been testing out Subnautica Below Zero. It's in alpha, and this is, even in alpha, this is an amazing game. It's already got me hooked. Um, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to dive into it. Get it? Dive into it, because it's an underwater game. Anyways, enough bad humor. I'm open to suggestions. I haven't heard from you guys in a while. I've been super busy, so just drop a note below. Let me know what you think.